Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to swap two number uh, using pointer in C language. So let's write the code inside the main function. So here I am going to take integer variable x, y, s star, p1, s star, p2, and here after 10. So add here, if you give s star, with any variable so this is a pointer variable and this one x y and times are normal variable and here after let's write to print a function so at your interval code i'm going to write to enter the value of x and y And uh, hereafter, let's write a scalar kind of function. So here, percent %d, one more percent %d here, ampersand %x, ampersand %y. And here, let's write printer function one more time. And here, going to write before swapping x equal to percent d y equal to percent d slash n and hereafter even equal to m percent x p2 equal to ampersand y and here tan equal to s star p2 s star p2 equal to s star p1 and here s star p1 equal to tan and here let's So here yeah, one for x and next for y and let's copy this particular line so and here yeah, only need to change after swapping so this is the code to swap two numbers using pointer so let's do execute the code and check is it working right or not so first there are no any errors so add here into the value of x so i'm going to enter 12 and into the value of y so i'm going to enter 89 so here before swapping so this is 12 and 89 the value of x and y 12 and 89 and after the swapping x equal to 89 and y equal to 12 so it's a right output let's execute the code one more time so at here i'm going to enter x value 55 and y value 12 so before swapping x is 55 y 12 and after swapping x is 12 and y 55 so it's a right output here after i'm going to explain this code so add here, I paste the code add here. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here after that, go inside. So add here, I have taken integer variable x and here y. And here after s star p1 and s star p2. And here after one more variable tab. So here print a function. So what do I do code that display into the output scan? Into the value of x and y. And here a scanner function. So what do I am going to enter? So that to see by x and y. So add here this is a 
box of x and this is the box of y and you I am using percent because x and y are integer time so if you are going to use float so here you have to give a percent n now here after a scanner function so a scanner function so whatever I am going to enter so that you see by x and y suppose if I enter x value to n and y value 89 So 12 and 89. So this store some system generated address. So suppose if the system generates the address 1 0 0 9 for x and 1 0 0 1. So this is the system generated address for y. So here one more point ampersand hold the address and star hold the value. So here after printer function, so this display into the output screen. This percentage is for x and this percentage is for y. So here the percentage is a placeholder for x and y. So here the value of x I enter or 12. And here the y value 89. So the output comes before swapping x equal to 12, y equal to 89. And here after slash and then cursor go to the new line. Here t1 equal to ampersand x. So the ampersand x, so ampersand hold the address of x. So the address of x is system generated address. So I system generated address so I have written 1009 1, so 100 address that go to P1 so here P1 also access this address and here ampersand Y so the address of Y that go to P2 so 1001 so that address go to P1 so now the address of 1009 is for x and p1 and the address of 1001 so this is the address of y and p2 so add your a star p2 so since a star hold the value so here in p2 100 address the value is 89 so here a star p2 value is now 89 so a star p2 value that go to tan so tan value is now 89 and here after a star p1 so add your p1 address 1009 the values are 12 so add your a star p1 value is now 12 so a star p p1 value that go to a star p2 so this value go to a star p2 so add here the value come 12 and here time value go to a star p1 so time value is 89 so that go to here a star p1 so this value is now 89 now here after printer function so after swapping so this display into the output screen this percent d is for x and this percent d is for y so at here x value is now here after changing so this is now 89 and here this is now y is now after changing this is true so if anything is changed into the address so that affect into uh, x and p1 and y and p2 so here this also come 89 and here 
also throttle con throttle. So at here x and p1 has the address 1009 and y and p2 has the address 1001. So this is the both are system generated address. So you can also print s dot p1 and s dot p2. So let's write at here s dot p1 and s dot p2. So s dot p1 is for x and s dot p2 is for y. So let's execute the code. So here to have 39. So here the same output it's come. Because uh, s dot p1 the value is 89 and s dot p2 the value is 12. And here whatever if whatever change in the address so that directly affect into x and p1 and y and p2. And after the printing, so that out from main function. So this is the try run method of the program to set to number using pointer. So I hope guys you understand how the program works. So now in this video it's over. So see you next video. Thank you.